Welcome, everyone. In this video, we will take a look at resources in eLab FTW. Let's go to the Resources page. A resource in eLab FTW is to be understood as a collection of things that are available to you, but also more. You can add your chemicals here and then link them to experiments. You can create devices as resources and also link them to experiments or even make them bookable for yourself, your team, and people from outside of your team. But you can also create an overview for your own projects. There are nearly no limits to your imagination. Here, the resources page looks almost exactly the same as the experiments page. You just have different categories and statuses. We will now create an entry together. To do this, simply click on create or the arrow to the left of it. The existing categories in which you can create a new resource are displayed. We will choose chemicals and an entry is created immediately. The editing mode should look very familiar to us. In this video, we will not look at the functions of an entry as we have already looked at it in the experiments video. However, we will go into a few differences. We see that in the main text part, a few chemical specific text is already written. The team admin manages the categories and can also specify individual settings for them. We can now edit the resource for chemicals and fill in the required information. Another interesting point can be seen here at the top right under the three points. You can modify the booking parameters. Each individual entry can be made individually bookable. And a few more settings can be made here. It's best to take a look for yourself. However, your team admin can also make the entire category bookable by default. Finally, I would like to take a look at the change log with you but we will take a look at the change log of another resource, as there is more to see. Here, we can see which changes were made when and by whom. This is particularly exciting for resources that you use together as a team. This way, you can see whether there has been a change since the last time you used the resource. Fine, let's go back to the overview. We can now see all resources again depending on the scope set. Analog to the experiments page, you can also filter or sort the entries here or see a small view of the entry. Finally, I would like to point out that it is common practice to add resources to eLab FTW via the programming interface. There will also be a separate video series on this topic. Great, in the next video, we will see what is behind the team page. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us or leave a comment. Goodbye.